That is an awesome fish, a 14 pounder, and yours is probably, I don't know, probably pushing 10. So nice double. Let's go ahead and send them home. Yeah, I figured they'd be down here. Looks like a pretty good one, huh? Yeah, you got a fish. We got a double already. Whoa. Just watch that trolling motor. That's gonna be the big thing. And watching the motor too, Chad. If you gotta walk back, that's fine. We are doubled up already, guys. I'm pretty good fish, it looks like. There you go, good Chad, and just get around those rods, nice. Good job. That's amazing how we just immediately got oh, a double. Yeah, that's great. That's a good one. Did it come off? Yes. That's all right. Got it. Now you're going to redeem yourself. <laughs> I don't ever speak too soon. They pull hard in the current too. Oh yeah. Makes me wonder if it's a channel. That's a blue. That's a nice one. And those work like vice grips, so you'll just pull those away from you. Fish number three. Small. Channel. Yeah. Probably is a channel. Yeah. Head shaker. Yep. Now let's shake the head. We got a double? Yep. Oh no. Hold on. Loosen your drag if you need to. All right, you come up here. You come up here, Chris. Okay, hold on a second. Let me motor up. Just watch the, watch the motor there, uh, Chad. Do not let that fish get in the motor. Let me see if I can get around this way. Got it? You're doing good, you're doing good. There he is right 
That's a good one. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now that one's more like around, I don't know, 10 to 12. Woo, high five. All right. Good job, guys. That was a team effort right there, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. 14, 12. 14, 14. I'd say 14 pounds. Nice yeah. fish on light tackle. Three, two, one. That is an awesome fish. A 14 pounder, and yours is probably, I don't know, probably pushing 10. So nice double. Let's go ahead and send them home. That's close to your personal best, right, Chad? Yeah, it's eight, 18 is my personal 18, best. 18, we have a chance. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Nice job, guys. High five. Thank you. Good job. We are free lining raw chicken, the catch catfish. 10 pound line with a 20 pound leader. Fishing below Chickamauga Dam. No secret here. Oh, want some good drag there, huh? <laughs> you must have a good one. A lot of energy, huh? That's actually a, a decent one. They're definitely over here though. Yeah, yeah. Nice fish. That's a good fish. All right. And he just slinging that. Got a double? Here, you take this one and just put that one in the rod holder. Here you go. How is it, Chad? <laughs> You're like, okay. How's yours, Chris? It's a channel. It's a channel. Yeah. They fought hard. Yeah. How small they are. Go ahead and get him out. Yours must be pretty good there. Yeah. I know what. It's not bad. There you go, you got him. I'm gonna say channel. Yep, he's shaking. Oh, you can swing him in, I think. Yep. All right, guys, that's fish number 10. So we hit fish number 10. And I'm gonna show you guys what we're doing when free lining the catfish. Go to your grocery store and buy yourself some chicken breast. You don't have to marinate it in any powder or jello, just use it straight up. And uh, I like to use 10 pound mainline monofilament. Mono is good because it's very forgiving, it stretches. You can get away with braid, but I do better with the mono. And just cut yourself a chunk, and I'm using 4 ot kale hook. Make sure you show the tip. I do use a 20 pound leader to provide more abrasion on the bottom. This works really well below any of the TVA dams here in Tennessee. Uh, we're right in the tail race right now where there's some current. All you need to do is just cast out, close your bail, and just hold your rod. Just like that. Just like how Chad did it. We're just drifting with the current. I keep my trolling motor straight towards the bank. Nothing special. This works practically all throughout our river system. And it's a very good technique to catch numbers lots of numbers typically average size down here is five to ten pounds 
and the kickers being in the mid to upper teens, every now and then you can get a monster that's 20, 30, 40, or even 50 pounds. We have no weight, no sinker, pretty much no rig. It's just the free line rig, the hook to the line. And uh, you want to use light line so the weight of the chicken goes down to the bottom. If you start using heavier line over 20 pounds, then it's not going to break as well in the water. Just makes it difficult. So you really want to go either 10 pound mono for the highest or 20 pound braid because those lines have the same line diameter. And that's just my opinion. I've done really well with the free line technique, just using 10 pound monofilament line. And I'm just using OmniFlex. I think that's the brand that you just get at Walmart, buy 500 yards of it for like three or four bucks. And uh, that's what I've been using. It's a good summertime technique when you just want to fill your cooler, bring some fish home. Fish on. I was about to put it in the rod holder. Oh, did he come off? No, he's coming towards me. Oh, man. How big do you think it is? It's small, but small. he just bolted forward towards the boat. I mean, he's shaking a lot. I think it's a channel. I think so. Should be able to. These channels fight. There he is. Not bad. Yeah, if I lose them, well, I lose them. Yeah, oh, see, he just snapped off. Yep. Here's my first fish. Fish on. Pretty good, or? Oh, that's a fish. Here, you take this one. I'm gonna put that one in the rod holder. That's a good fish. Oh, fish, double. There you go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we just doubled up. Channel. All right, let me weigh yours. You can release yours, uh, Chad. And Five, wow, five pound channel. That's pretty good for these waters. Got him? There he is. Looks like a channel based on what the rod is shaking a lot. Channel. They move, don't they? Yes. All right, guys, we just tripled up. One, two, and then I think he has another channel on. The channels are definitely out in full force. Because we're fishing during the spawn, or the blues are. We did get a few this morning, but... I think we have another channel on. That's a good one. You've been getting all the dark channels today. And the nice ones, too. Ooh, okay. Oh, you foul hooked him. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. How is that? <laughs> Maybe he swiped at it a certain way, I guess, or something. Wow, that doesn't happen very often. 
There we go, guys. I'd probably say five, six pounds. Nice blue. I'm gonna show you how I make the rig here. Got 20 pound trilene big game, Berkeley line. And I'm gonna cut, I don't know, maybe 24 inches worth of line. And I just use Eagle Claw, laser sharp, four dot kale hooks that you can just buy at Walmart. And I like to use the improved clinch knot. You can use polymer, you can use the snell knot. I just prefer the improved clinch. And then you grab a barrel swivel. Grab a barrel swivel. And then do the improved clinch knot again. And make sure you cut off your excess line. We're at 23 or 24 fish. Most of them are channels, but the action's pretty consistent. And then this is the free line rig, as I call it. So your hook to a swivel, and then you tie the other end of the barrel swivel to your main line. We're gonna go ahead and call it quits for today. Uh, we caught 23, 24 catfish, mostly channels. Uh, the blues were very active in the morning, and then the channels kind of came in full force. So this was my first trip really doing the tail race bite this year, and we did pretty well. And now we're downtown Chattanooga, but we have every pleasure boater out here, and we haven't really been able to get any fish, so we're just gonna go and wrap it up. And Chad, had a great time fishing with you, man. Yeah, had a great time, dude. And then Chris, yeah. likewise. I um, enjoyed fishing with you guys and so we just really just stuck to the light tackle drifting and you guys have now seen that it works. If you're going to try for the first time, I highly recommend doing it below a dam uh, with some current. Just experiment and try it out and see what you guys think. As always, give a thumbs up for this video and we'll see you later.